Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I am extra excited. We have Kylie Simmons today and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Kylie. Kylie, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. And Just a little about Kylie, some background is three years ago, Kylie was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma, which is a rare childhood cancer that affects bone or soft tissue. And after 46 weeks of chemotherapy, as well as radiation and surgeries, she was finally issued a positive prognosis from the doctors. Congrats on that, Kylie. Thank you. Uh, And we'll talk about that journey, but... Even more extraordinary, if that wasn't enough, Kylie has an invention which showed so much promise that her teachers submitted the project to the Connecticut Invention Convention, where more than 700 other creations were also displayed, and she beat out the competition, and she received four awards, including the Patent Award, which forwards the design to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, and we'll also talk about that. And a fun fact about Kylie is she wants to be a fashion designer, right? Yeah. So Kylie, I want to back up and tell me about before you were diagnosed, what were you experiencing? Well, well, I was, it was just normal and I was only in what grade? Second grade. I was only in second grade. And I had lots of friends, and I I still I always like to draw, so I drew then mm-hmm. before, and I just normal kid. Yeah. So what were you experiencing like when you were diagnosed? Were you having any symptoms or anything like that? Yeah, I had throat. My throat hurt, and I. It was hard to fall asleep because that's how bad my throat hurt at mm. night. Yeah. So when they told you about the the diagnosis, what were you thinking? I was thinking it couldn't be that bad because I was only eight, so I didn't really know about it too much. So. Mhm. And then what? Um, when you actually um, had to get treatment. Tell us, tell people what that was like. Who haven't gone through it? Well, it was terrible, and I had to go into the doctors every Tuesday for two hours, yeah. about two hours, and I'd get medicine through the big IV pool. Yeah. And it was, they had like this playroom there, and it was hard to go play with all the toys, but because it. The big IV poles, and my mom had to push the IV pole for me. Or mm. My mom and my dad, and because I was really weak and tired during mm. chemo. Yeah. Yeah. I lost yeah. my hair. You lost your hair. Mhm. What did, this is must have been really tough on you. Um, what was the toughest part? about going through all the chemotherapy and and surgeries? The toughest part was probably going to the office for a scan. I I don't like that. Yeah. What kind of scan? What did they do? Well, I had to do MRIs. Mm -hmm. I have to still sometimes. And cat scans, chest x rays, pet scans, bone scans, bone scans, a lot. Yeah. So, through the process, Kylie, were you scared at all or did you just know you were going to get better? I was scared, but I knew I was going to get better someday and yeah. Yeah, so how did you stay positive? I stayed positive because of my family and my friends. Yeah. They were all yeah. very helpful. What would your family tell you and your friends tell you? They tell me it's all right, and they would help me and they would sit with me if I was sad. 
Yeah. So what did so, what did you like most about what your mom and dad did to help you and uh, to keep you cheerful? They sat with me, and I got to sit on on their laps, and I'll just be normal with them. And I want them to be normal with them. Yeah. What was it like? Did you meet any of the other kids who were getting treatments too? Yeah, I met a lot of them because I went to camp, and I met a lot of other kids that had cancer or have cancer. Yeah. So what would you tell Kylie people? Let's say there's um, like a young tri- a young girl watching this. What would you tell them? What words of encouragement will you give them so that they that would help them get through it? Keep holding on. Yeah. And so one thing I want to talk about, obviously, is your amazing invention. Okay. Tell people about that and how you came up with it. Well... Do you have I it there? Have... You can you can show it. Yeah. So show show the different components of this, and then tell me how you came up with it. Okay. It started out as a school project, and I had to invent something for an everyday problem. Yeah. And this is my everyday problem when I had cancer. That's when I thought back to when I had chemo. Yeah. And I thought about how I was always tripping over the wires and the cords like this. I always tripped over all these. So I wanted to make something easier for the kids. And the... So show people that, yeah. What's what's on there? So this is the IV pole. It has... The swirly part is metal that protects the bag you can sit back and won't pop and this is the hook that holds on you can just hook the bag in mm-hmm. and then you just take a backpack and we have to get one of the small machines on it and it goes through the front and it goes right through it and right and it just comes out the end and you put the hook the IV and the nurses hook it into you and you can walk around with it. Yeah. So what was the toughest part? It sounded like that you that was always getting in your way. What was yeah. tough about that? Well, like if I tried to walk down the hallway, I in the office, I would walk and then I'd either get all tangled up or I'd trip and fall over these. Wow. So when you first came up with this idea, how did you come up with it? I came up with it how, like, at school they said I had to make a project. Mm -hmm. And once I heard that, I came home and I said, well, I already know what I'm going to, I know, I already know what I'm going to invent because that's when I had chemo, it, I thought back then and how it was hard. And I want kids to have these. Yeah. It's an amazing idea. And so when you went to this and your teachers told you to submit it to this convention, what did you think? I was like, maybe it could become really big. And there were other kids that had to, too, but... And they picked several kids to go to a Connecticut Adventure Convention, and then there was like 700 kids there, and I won four awards. And one of them was the patent one, which they only gave out one of them. Yeah. And... I was very surprised, you know, I was like, yes, I this to you for all the kids, and I was really, really happy. Yeah, it was really amazing. So then, tell, tell me what's next, what do you want to do next with, what's the next step for this uh, invention? I want, I want to make a prototype for it that has the real machine, because it's just an idea of the proto, mm-hmm. uh, prototype, but... It doesn't have a real machine, so I need a real machine on it. And I would make it maybe have animals on the backpack or yeah. designs. Or, and I want to shape, maybe shape this metal into like 
shape. So like a heart, it could be like a heart. Mm -hmm. Or for boys, it could be a football or basketball. That's a great idea. And I want them to be fashionable and personalized. So you're going to use your fashion design into into these bags, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then, is your mom there? I had a, Can your mom come on with you for a yeah. second? Sure. Hey, mom. Hey. How are you? I'm good. You must be so proud. Of course. It's yes. truly amazing. I want to hear kind of your thoughts, too, in this process, like from the beginning, middle, and end. What were you thinking along the way? In the very beginning. Um, well, when she first was diagnosed, it was, you're kind of just in shock. Yeah. Like, it, it, it came out of nowhere. So, it went from thinking she had strep throat to going to an ENT to surgery to it's cancer to chemotherapy two weeks later. Yeah. So, it was, you know, really fast and devastating. You know, yeah. it's like somebody ripped your heart out. Yeah. But we got a good diagnosis, you know, a good outcome from the very beginning. Yeah. So we just kind of tried to stay positive, and we kept telling her, you're going to be okay, you're going to get through this, we'll do it together as a family, and yeah. we tried not to treat her any differently. She still had to do chores, and yeah. <laughs> still had rules. and Siblings still get to beat up on her a little bit. Well, yeah, a little bit. Her <laughs> siblings were really good. Yeah. <laughs> um, her little brother wasn't here yet. I was actually... Pregnant with the little one oh, wow. who was diagnosed, but her younger sister was about four yeah. when she was diagnosed, and she was she was really good through it. You know, she tried yeah. to help her as much as she could. Yeah. Um. So she did well all through treatment. She was amazing. Yeah. Um. She still went to school. She, really? Wow. Yeah. She still went to school. She did half days. Um. And she got to go to camp in the summer, camp for kids with cancer. Yeah. Um, what do they do there? Uh, everything you can imagine. Yeah. These camps are amazing. Um, she goes to Camp Rising Sun, which is here in Connecticut. Okay. And it's a camp for kids with cancer. So they do everything. I mean, they have arts and crafts. They have archery. They have... You know, in the wintertime, they have another camp where they can go, and they'll do tubing in the snow, and karaoke, and big dinners, and just all kinds of fun things. Stuff yeah. that normal kids get to do, but there's doctors and nurses there at all times. Yeah. And yeah. that's where she really wants the backpacks to go, so that kids who, because they can receive their yeah. chemotherapy at camp, yeah. so this way they can still participate in camp activities. Yeah. So, yeah, she's pretty amazing. It's Kelly, you are unbelievable. You are amazing, as you already know that. So what has been Kelly, a hard point for you and what, what's been a, a low point and a high point for you in this process? Well, the low point was definitely just seeing your child sick. It's knowing, knowing there's nothing you can do to make them better. Yeah. You just, you know, you see them sick and you see their hair fall out and you see them upset and there's nothing you can do to make it better. Yeah. Um, the high point was definitely the all clear, there's no, you know, there's clear skin. That yeah. was definitely the high point. Yeah. But now it's, I think it's fantastic that she wants to give back and help other kids. And we think maybe this is why she dealt with this. Maybe this was what brought her to this point. The so reason. Yep. Yeah. So what would you tell parents to stay positive? Obviously, Kylie attributes her getting better and staying positive to you and your family. What would you tell parents? Just don't give up. You just, I mean, you kind of, there's, you kind of can't give up. You don't have a choice. As much as people worry like, oh, how are you doing it? How do you go through it? You really don't have a choice. Yeah. You do it because it's your kid, and you have to do it. But yeah. just don't give up. There's help, and if you need help, reach out. There's always somebody there who will listen or help or anything. Yeah. So tell me about your thoughts on this invention when you first heard it and now. She came home that first day and was like, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I was like, okay, great idea. Let's, let's do it, you know. So 
you know, she did she did most of it herself. Someone else wants I, to come on camera, it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, Mikey, please stop yelling. Um, he could come so, over here, I too, mean, if he wants. <laughs> it was fantastic. She figured it all out herself. You know, her dad had to help her, you know, bend the metal part. You want to come say hi? You can you say can hi. Come say hello. Can't scream. Um, so I mean, it was just amazing. She was so excited. Can you say hi? Hey. <laughs> so they had um they had like a school wide invention like science fair type thing where all the kids in the fifth grade showed their showed their inventions and the parents got to come and see all the inventions and then they picked about. 15 kids from our school to go on to the Connecticut Invention Convention. And when we found out there was going to be 700 kids, you know, we were telling her, you know, honey, don't be surprised. We think it's a great idea, but other people might not. Don't be sad if you don't win anything. Right. Never in a million years did we think Hi. she was going to walk out of there with that one patent award. It's amazing. Yeah. We just never, never in our wildest dreams. Yeah. This is... I immediately read the story and I thought this is not only uh, the just so inspiring, but such a good idea and so innovative for, for anyone to come up with this. Yeah, we and, were like, amazed that there was never anything like this. Yeah. Patented. You know, I, I really appreciate you, you guys taking the time and sharing your story. And um, I always like to ask one question at the end. Um, you know, this is Inspired Insider. And so the question is, I want to ask each of you separately. Okay. Um, is, Mom, first, what do you think about that inspires you? What motivates you when times get tough? What do you think about in your mind? Um, I think my kids. My kids inspire me to do better, to be better. So, you know, raise kids that are caring and yeah. want to help other people yeah. and you know my husband the same thing yeah we both feel that way i think definitely our kids inspire us the most yeah does that come from how you were raised or it does i have a close relationship with my parents um you know and we were taught to you know think about other people first yeah and so yeah my kids definitely inspire me the most yeah and so, Kylie, what about you? When you think of, what do you think about what that inspires and motivates you when you're going through those really tough times? What inspired you? Uh, well, I thought of my friend, Alyssa. She had the same kind of cancer as me, and she got through it. Yeah. And she helped me through it too, so I thought of her and how tough she was when she had me. Yeah. So what did she do to help you through it? What did she say to you? She would come over and we just be like normal kids. We'd play. We because now she's just I think fifteen or sixteen now, mm -hmm. but she would always come with me places and we'd talk and be normal and like a like a fun older sister yeah 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 so but she knew what i was going through yeah, yeah. she knew what you were going through mm -hmm. yeah well kylie thank you so much for your time anything else that people should check out tell people where they should check out where should they go and, and check out your page and um, and find out more. If they want to find out more, they can go on. They can go on GoFundMe.com, mm -hmm. and that's where you can donate and read our or read our story. So what's it? It's GoFundMe.com, and then do you have uh, like a what should they search for? Because it's G O F U N D. M E dot com, right? And mm -hmm. then what should they search for so they can find your page? Yeah, they Wait. can um, search for IV backpack. They can search for IV backpack. Yes. I, I think yeah, IV pediatric backpack for kids with cancer. 
yeah. Right. All of the all of the links to Kylie's stories and everything are on her Facebook page, which if you search for Courage for Kylie, okay. everything's on there. All the links from the newspaper articles. News. Courage for Kylie. Okay. Yep. The GoFundMe account is linked to that, so you can basically get everything there. Or um, we have a new CourageForKylie.com, which is getting revamped. Okay. So that will be up and running soon, too. CourageForKylie.com. That's perfect. People need to check it out. They need to check out this story, see the awesome invention from Kylie. And thank you both so much for your time. Everyone needs to check this out. And before we know it, it's going to be it's going to be fully funded. And by the time people watch this, you're going to have a, a working model anyway. So then they can so. they can spread it out to their friends and, and family who can help people in hospitals. So, Kylie, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.